review in like five months where I haven't to wear a fucking jacket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, this is probably your most interesting story since when we saw what was the uh, what was the crappy one? Uh, Independence Day. Resurgence? What even happened on that one? Remember? All oh, right, we got taken yeah. out. I forgot about. I thought that. we were same pro- fucking theater. Like, <laughs> like I, I never had a problem with any other fucking theater. It's whenever we go to this fucking theater where we have all the fucking problems. <laughs> but to be fair, this one worked out in our favor. Yeah, but it's like this happened. Like every shenanigan lace thing that's ever happened to me in a theater has happened fucking here. <laughs> Uh, we we got taken out during Independence Day too. Uh, when I had when I got like when we the, saw the fight was it the fight club fight night or something fight like that? night yeah or something like where that where just everything was just <laughs> yeah and, and like nothing worked there and I had an issue with Blade Runner where like Blade Runner 2049 where like the audio kept blinking out so I was like I got a free upgrade to IMAX so that was nice yeah <laughs> but um, I was like that was fucking frustrating yeah. Although to, also to be fair we did have with a weird uh, thing. What was the last movie we saw again? Um, fuck, I don't even remember. No, I remember that we were at the Great Mall not too long ago. Simon? No, 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 that's Simon. No, that was Howard Ruth Love Simon. Oh my god, well, I can't remember because that one, to be fair, is just there was like the weird digital noise thing that was happening. Uh, Tomb Raider. Thank you. Okay. I didn't even I don't even know if I, I no you did you, you I kind of noticed it. Yeah. it not enough for it to stick in my brain so anyway what happened to us today uh, <laughs> this is a this is a fascinating experience <laughs> it is way more to see than the rest of the movie <laughs> we'll get oh yeah we'll talk about that in a bit too but what happens is it starts out normal right we we're on the six o'clock showing we're in the theater everything's going yeah. fine well except for the fact that for some reason it was dark oh the yeah entire I mean, time. it was dark but in the previous like when the commercials were playing, and then it got, the lights went on when the trailer started playing. That was if Trigger won, that's something weird was going on. And then it was like, okay, whatever, we'll just ignore it until the movie actually starts. And then, as the trailers <laughs> are playing, we see this sign. Put on your 3D glasses, and you can hear the collective, what? <laughs> <laughs> From the entire yeah. audience. <laughs> Cause this is just meant to be a 2D showing, and like, yeah, because we did like we had no indication this is the case. So somebody fucked up yeah. hard, and so like half of us went out to the lobby. It's like, so you want us to put it in 2D or do you want the glasses? Like, we'll take the glasses. It's like, <laughs> it's like, and then it's like, I just grabbed a handful. Some other guy grabbed a handful. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's just a parade of people coming in with glasses, yeah. just handing them out like yeah. chiclets. And then, at, at just as we put the glasses on, because that's when the movie already started. <laughs> They shut the movie off. <laughs> it's like, oh great, you can finally watch the movie. <laughs> it's like, why are you toying with us? And then we basically became the two grumpy uh, Muppets from the, <laughs> the critics from the Muppet mo- the Muppet movies, or the, the just the Muppets. And, and so like you're so like, oh my god, I, was, I yelled, I'm so confused. <laughs> and everyone up, we're, it was like weird because the entire audience we were with, there was a fair amount of people in there, were totally on board with this, yeah. this talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they start laughing, and yeah. so that encourages us to just keep ripping. Yeah. It's like, all we wanted was a free upgrade. Was that too much to ask? And I was like, I just wanted to see a movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. And then finally, he's like, hey, we can start the trailers over. And we're like, no, 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 no. Yeah, like, nah, just, just, you know, we're at a good point after the solo trailer. We're good. Well, let's just get in the movie. He's like, sure. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, so that that was that was going into this fucking movie. <laughs> uh, movie itself was fine. Yeah. It was nothing special. I mean, no. it had some entertaining moments, but overall, just it it was it kind of lacked that spark that. There's a certain soul that the first one had. This one didn't really. Uh, the, the first one had more style. And yeah. I'm not gonna say substance because like I love the first one, but I acknowledge it's a dumb movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this one's dumb too, but this one feels like it's pandering more to modern uh, trends than the yeah. first one did, and that became distracting. Like basically, as we described it, it was it basically felt like they took a Transformer script and then they just threw in kaiju. Honestly, I got more of the new Power Rangers. I can't say that because I was more entertained with this than I was the Power Rangers. <laughs> but the same kind of style, though. Yeah. Uh, like that, like the kid, like especially with the teenagers. Yeah. I got more Power Rangers than I did Transformers on that's there. Fair. I was thinking like the first one was like the way they were being kind of quippy, 
the way that they were. Oh, Transformers wasn't smart enough to be that quippy. <laughs> That was mostly Shia LaBeouf going, no, 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 go, 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 that's, that's, that's like the three, first three Transformers movies in a nutshell. Fair the enough. only time any wit came into play that wasn't a penis joke at some point was because of Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, yes, my, yeah, that's my feeling shift got insurance, the one that just flew out of the sky, how'd I get my gun? No, my alien gun, yes. my alien gun. Um, Which is way, a way funnier bit than it had any right to be. But like, no, no, the Transformers dialogue was way more obnoxious than any of yeah. this stuff. That's I, so why I, I kind of akin it I more to Power to Rangers. I was referring to the first one. Because uh, that one was fine. The better, was not yeah. fine, but better. I mean, watch it again now, and yeah, it's kind of hard to... The dialogue, at least, is pretty hard to sit through. Uh, and... Yeah, like I enjoyed it. It's like, but I will. I like the like, first Transformers <clears throat> fine. It's yeah. like the dialogue is not aged well, and it wasn't even very good back then. So. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, it's more again. It's just been that much. You like Shia LaBeouf screaming at the camera for two hours. Yeah, and how fucking long the first Transformers was. Um, but yeah, like this one, the act, like it, it. I think the part that you kind of came there to see is pretty good. Like, the fight scenes are pretty good. Uh, the CGI is yeah. pre CGI's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the monster designs are great. I thought all that, I thought all that stuff was fun. Like, for the reason I fucking showed up, or, uh, like, that stuff delivered fine. Uh, I thought um, Finn, as the lead in this movie, is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. He got some good... Like, I... It's kind of weird things. Like I felt like there were a bunch of good individual moments that just didn't really come together. I could see that. Yeah. That's no. the, yeah. That's kind of the best way to describe. Was like I liked. Yeah. I mean, uh, John Boyega. You know, John Boyega. Was, yeah. Yeah. He was fun and funny. Um, he had good chemistry with that thirteen-year-old. Whatever yeah. he was. Uh, yeah. She was a little flat at times. And sometimes a little tried too hard in a couple bits. But overall, she did a decent job. I thought job. she did fine. Yeah. They played yeah. well off each other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And, uh, like, I, for me, I was just thinking, like, oh, there's discount Chris Evans. Yeah. There's Dean discount Scott El Eastwood. Yeah, and, there, and there's discount Ellen Page. <laughs> or discount Ellen Page, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't that, didn't she, like, like if this movie came out five years ago, that would have been played by Ellen Page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not the only one that sees it. I but, can see it now. Uh, there's obligatory cameo from the first movie, <laughs> so just so you can kill her off. Plus the obligatory cameo from the Gundam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I was like, oh man, if this was Gundam vs. Godzilla, I would have been so down. My god, yes. <laughs> uh, and like, to be fair, I think John Boy Boyega is a better leading man in this movie than, uh, what's his name for the first movie? Uh, Charlie Hanon. Charlie Hanon, yeah. Like, yeah. I honestly think, like, I think the leading man is honestly better because I think John Boyega just had more personality. Yeah, that definitely helped because. I will totally make yeah. Charlie was pretty bland. Bland is bland, and yes, it doesn't yeah. help. It doesn't help that like I gotta confuse the Australian guy at a couple scenes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he got and like Idris Elba carried him through that movie. Um, yeah. But I digress. Um, and then the supporting cast is just kind of there. Like they tried, and you can tell they they want them to have fun and stuff. But it's like they're just kind of Charlie Day in particular who. Okay, sp this is going to spoilers. Which I thought was... I'm not going to lie, this part was kind of stupid. I agree, the Charlie Day twist was stupid. Yeah. Uh, mostly because I was like... I like, okay, I know you're trying to buck trends there, because <laughs> I'll be honest, that wasn't quite what I expected, but... Yeah, because... So, spoiler alert, Charlie Day's the villain. Uh, yeah. it, and apparently, because he's been possessed... Basically possessed by the evil aliens from the first movie. Yeah, the... Precursors? Yeah. Whatever the hell they call them, which, yeah, I, which I made me think of Jack and Daxter. Uh, oh, that's what that's those are the precursors. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Protheans was Mass Effect. That's yeah, what it was. Yeah, that's I was like. That's what we actually made that joke. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Although to be fair, eventually you had the drones turn into Geth. <laughs> I was thinking elites from Halo. But <laughs> that works too. Yeah. Uh, which honestly, I was like, whatever. Giant monsters. I don't care. Like, that was the part I was fine with that. Because, like, you know, I've watched every Godzilla movie ever made. This is not the dumbest thing I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> there was a giant plant at one point. So, you know, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Giant elites. I'll go with it. Uh, a little bit more sense now that I think about it. They do kind of look like elites. <laughs> yeah, so that was more my thought. I was like, ah, whatever. They look kind of cool. They have some cool fight scenes in there. So whatever. I'm down. I'm along for the ride. It's more when they try to make Charlie Day intimidating. That's kind of like, okay, that, that's like asking me to think that Dane Cook is intimidating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he 
it's like, all right in Mr. Woods, but there's better choices. Yeah, so like, you know, I, I know you're trying. I know you're trying really hard, and it shows. But it just, it's, it's, it. You're too tiny. You're too much of a tiny human being, and it's, it's just not working. It's like a, it's like thinking a pomeranian is gonna tear you to shreds or cause the end of humanity. <laughs> And it's moving over really fast, like the joke I made to you, because like the whole point of teasing up that like, this uh, like this Chinese businesswoman is going to be the main villain because she has women like villain clothes and does villain talk. And yeah, <laughs> and so they like, remember her to be the villain, and it turns out oh no, she was f perfectly fine the entire time. But she does point a gun at Charlie Day at one point. My first thought was like, "Your wits are no match for my gun, Bane." <laughs> <laughs> Which just again, I feel like in a like that's not like something happened in like a bad D D and D campaign. <laughs> uh, boy, that would be highly that great like the main villain's monologue and I'm just like bang, <laughs> no the the ending of Fable Two. That's what it would have been like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was getting more. I was getting Resistance Two vibes. I forgot that did happen in Resistance Two. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Oh god, it became Resistance 2! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I liked Resistance 2. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it was kind of a dumb ending though. Eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, okay. not... Again, you, for whatever reason you come there for, it's like, okay. Yeah. I'm on board. Like I said, this isn't the worst movie. It's just It's yeah, it's it's, it's, it's fine. fine. It, it has its moments. I mean, it's not really bad, not really good. You'll you'll get a couple kicks out of it. I mean, I didn't come out of there with the childlike glee <clears throat> that the first one gave me, and I didn't really expect to, to be fair. Yeah, same Because um, I'm like, I, I, anyone who watches my show knows I'm a fucking sucker for giant monster movies. I'm an absolute sucker. Yeah. Uh, which, um, in this case, it also doesn't help the giant monster literally doesn't come until, like, the third act versus the first movie where they're prevalent throughout. Yeah, and, like, to be fair, like, the fights they supplement throughout the movie do work fine. Like, the, they, they have them, like, ro giant robot versus a giant robot fight that the first one at least is pretty cool uh yeah it was okay i thought it was good but then again i'm a sucker for this kind of thing <laughs> um i thought it moved at a good pace it was well choreographed and it was cool to watch so i was like yeah, all right i mean we finished this pretty quickly so that definitely helped um because like the movie's supposed to yeah, so it was like supposed to be an hour 51 or an hour 55 it's like oh wait we're out in about an hour and a half i, I looked it up on fandango so they probably include the trailer times for that no i think it was oh the credits probably went, went on hella long it can't be that it can't be 20 minutes long <laughs> Uh, who knows? Uh, I think Fan uh, Fandango automatically adds the um, credits time. I mean, the, the credits, yeah. the, the trailer try time onto that. Okay. I'm gonna look on Rotten Tomato confirm that fact. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, thankfully, it kept itself relatively short. I mean, it goes. It gets mo by and large straight to the point. There's some padding here and there. Yeah. Uh, there set... There's a whole thing with this character named Jewel who serves no purpose. <laughs> Which one's that? The oh! Oh! Boots. Oh! Yeah. Where I'm. <laughs> Right, major oh Christ reaction after my joke. Uh, hold on, I'm checking the runtime for. Let's see if who's right. Uh, okay, yeah. So I guess the credits are do run fucking long. I guess. Uh, um, but anyway. Uh, yeah, because uh, she's Hispanic. I believe so. Yeah. So you have Hispanic. You have Chris. Uh, you have Discount Chris Evans. Scott Eastwood, who, who starts out as like the jerk, who eventually kind of comes around. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Which also probably is like, oh wow, he he got past that really quick. It's like, hey, whatever. Again, giant monsters. Yeah. I'm not I'm not here for depth. Yeah. Um. Again, mo most of my issues, movie really kind of boils down to um, just kind of conforming too much to modern day movie trends. Yeah. Uh, like it felt like it was trying to be to be a Marvel movie, without being a good Marvel movie. <laughs> yeah. Um. Because at least. <clears throat> Because there's a lot of wit, and there's like there's some, and like and it comes out mostly in the end. When we have the teenagers taking over the robots. Yeah. Uh, when they're making, they're doing like yeah, and like the robots flip off the dot robot yeah. at one point. And they're like, okay, that's yeah. Come and then on. they only, and then they only kill off one of them, and of course it's the, it's not the, it's not the white one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was like, yeah, we've only had two major casualties in this movie, and they're both some kind of Asian. <clears throat> was he Asian? I thought he was Indian. India is considered a part of Asia. Is it? Oh, okay. Well, I learned something yeah. today. Uh, it's, uh, they're considered. Uh, is it South? I can't remember. I think it's considered South Asian. I don't know. Geography is not my strong suit. Yeah. Um, or nationality, apparently. Um, I just don't look at the world through that kind of lens, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me let me white explain it to you. <laughs> As a heterosexual white male, I know a thing or two about persecution. <laughs> 
You forgot to say sis. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now who's <laughs> as a Christian cis heterosexual white male? <laughs> Let me talk to you about white genocide. <laughs> 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 We're so picked on you guys. <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, I know, and uh, and to express our outrage, we'll go watch the third God's Not Dead movie. Ah! <laughs> uh, I want to say, can it possibly be worse than the second one? But I don't want to challenge it. <laughs> to be fair, I still say, uh, do you believe was worse than that? <laughs> I I'd agree. Okay, do uh, be fair. I mean, then again. They're both as hateful. Yeah, it's like, God's Not Dead was infuriating. Uh, Do You Believe was worse, but I at least was able to laugh at more elements of it, like the whole Faith in the Furious bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that part. And, uh, <laughs> Cackle. I barely remember a thing from, uh, from Do You Believe, honestly. I remember oh. the stupid cancer thing. That's like the only okay, thing I Okay, never mind. I hate that movie worse than God's <laughs> yeah. Not Dead 2. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Yeah, there oh. it is. There it is. There oh, it is. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, man. Oh, how do I remember everything else? <laughs> it blocked out your memory deliberately. Yeah. Wait, so why did the cancer guy who died can't come back to life, but the pregnant girl who's still alive died? <laughs> well, kind of... God's not fair. There's a sequel <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but I digress. I'm way off topic. Uh, so back to your horrible joke. Then I'll tell my joke. That was that one the night. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was the best night. Because <laughs> oh, this also a legit funny moment in the movie was. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, and it was like <laughs> like they, they both they basically discount Chris Evans and John Boyega both want to fuck uh, the Hispanic woman, and, and so she basically you know kisses Scott Eastwood on the cheek. He's like he's like you better come back. Oh, you better come back in one piece. Then she goes back and kisses John Boyega on the cheek. <laughs> and it's like you too. And then you know they're both staring at her. Then Boyega's like, "Well, that's this is confusing." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you made the and I was just no. kind of saying I made the jokes on lines like, "Well, we can share." <laughs> and I just thought to myself, I was like, "Is this gonna be like some weird kind of gradient thing?" And I was like, "Oh." Jesus. <laughs> But anyway, this movie accumulates to the final climactic fight scene where all the old pilots are dead, so the kids have to take over. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it leads to a part where like they, the, all the monsters join together to form a giant mega monster. <laughs> uh, and shit goes wrong. All the other robots are destroyed except for Jaeger again. Um, and then he, they do this like self-sacrifice thing where they have to fly into space and then do like a do nose dive into the giant monster. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> uh, a tiny robot that... Uh, discount Ellen Page made at the beginning of the movie is now piloted by the fake out villain from before and she's riding on Jaeger's on the the, the uh, Jaeger's back <laughs> scrapper yeah and then uh, it's like okay well not sh as they're crashing down it's like okay we're gonna initiate uh, ejection protocols like, ejection failed and it's like oh no we're gonna die we're not gonna live and, and then, then and the funny <laughs> thing is they're saying like wait wasn't there a tiny robot on their back there we like, go like the tiny robot like rips it open and I did the only was like why won't you let me die <laughs> 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 fucking rose <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, this was my moment. God damn it. Uh, uh, I mean, like. Sorry, I'm just hearing seal music playing in the background of my head with that scene. <laughs> Wait, what? Baby, da 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 da, kiss by the road. <laughs> that would have been great, actually. Um, da 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 da. Na, na, na. <laughs> I mean, like, like I'm just kind of thinking, like, uh, why this movie doesn't work, and the first one did. Um, I think largely it comes down to tone. Tone, the fact that it was a simpler story. It didn't try to do that stupid, like, fake twist and turns. Yeah, like yeah. it was just a very Mo know, big monsters. Go yeah. kill them. That's also, the anime influences felt more prevalent, whereas this one mm -hmm. just had like stuff kind of thrown in there. Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it it felt like its own thing. It felt like it wasn't trying to be anything else. Yeah. Than its own creation, even though it was obviously heavily influenced by their, my popular media. Yeah. Uh, again, it didn't feel like it was trying to be Thor Ragnarok halfway through. <laughs> and I love Thor Ragnarok. Well, I need Sony show Jasmine that. We are going to have a good time. Uh, but, like, 
it, it felt obvious that I was trying to pander more to common trends, and that was distracting to me. Yeah. Uh, the twist was kind of stupid. And I think the big problem is, like, the fight scenes didn't work as well, because I feel like... This is what I noticed from the trailer, too. It wasn't as big a problem as I thought it was going to be uh, in the actual movie, but I felt like um, the robots and the monsters didn't carry as much weight. Mm. Like, they didn't feel yeah, as... They didn't feel as physically heavy it's because, as they did in the It's because movie. they kind of... They move them a little bit faster. Which I don't have a problem with, yeah. but, like, you need to either make them smaller or make them leaner in order to compensate for that. Yeah, because... It's... It, this is a physics nitpick, sadly, in a movie that's It is, but, like, that, that's what kind of <laughs> sold it in the first position of the room, yeah, though. Like, the it like, made it, like, boom! It's versus, yeah. you know... By having that, you know, kind of emphasis on, like, slowness, it made it feel more... Yeah, you know... It, like, like, it felt like they that. had weight. It felt like they had bulk, and that's what, like... That's so, like, on a giant... It made you feel like when a giant robot punches a giant fucking monster, it feels like a legitimate fucking punch. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, put a shit out of that monster! Fuck yeah! yeah. Uh, also, I felt like they kind of emphasized their special moves a bit more in the first one. Yeah. Uh, and again, that's kind of why I kind of draw more comparisons to Power Rangers yeah. a little bit, because I felt like it, the way it was shot and the way it moved felt very yeah. akin to the finale of the last Power yeah. Ranger movie. Okay, yeah, actually, I can see that more now that I think about it. Yeah. So I just... I That movie's really forgettable. And it didn't help that I only like two characters in that one. Yeah, that's true. Um, I will say this. I'll give them credit as to one thing they did better than the original movie. When they showed in the Jaegers, they at least built them up more instead of having like, these are Jaegers and they're dead. <laughs> Although I love that uh, when they show like the people that died in action <laughs> or like people that actually remembered. <laughs> you see the Ru yeah, you see uh, the It's Russian. more like Idris Elba, mate, one of the main characters in the first yeah. movie, random Russian guy from the first movie. <laughs> I'm like, why does he get third billing? <laughs> did he have a line? He, I mean, his little eyewear thing looked cool, but... He was basically a Rock'em Sock'em robot that died yeah. first. Rocky Saki robot? Yeah. Piloted by Ivan Drago. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I would be cool. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot else to say. Yeah. Um, it just... It it didn't sell it didn't sell me as well as the first one did. Because like, yeah. the first one, like... I, Again, not a great movie, but it, it won me over just because it, made me, it just reminded me of my childhood yeah. and how much I used to, again, how much I still love giant, you know, like, yeah. even movies oh. that have crappy, like, crappy movies will still win me over has a giant monster fight in there. Like, even Independence Day 2, the only part that kept me awake was the giant monster fight at the end. Yeah. Even that wasn't that great. <laughs> yeah, also, I just kind of realized there's something much more, the way they built the environments looked way cooler, too. Like, I think yeah, it was that, a lot more stylized. Like that neat, that, even though it was darker, like, it was the fact that you kind of built up those neon glows all around. It kind of gave it, like, yeah. this, it gave it pop. Mm-hmm. And again, it's just because the, the monsters looked like they just weighed more. The yeah. impacts felt like they had more power to them. Uh, and it, granted, it's not that big of a problem. It is kind of nitpicky, but it was enough for me to notice. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that's why, like, it just, it, it didn't feel like... A CGI giant robot, giant monster fight, Grant. It just yeah. it did not feel authentic, and exactly how I pictured in my head. I'm uh, I'm being more than a little sarcastic, and <laughs> <laughs> if it's not apparently obvious. Um, but yeah, like as far as far as like popcorn movies go, it's perfectly serviceable. Yeah, like I'd give us a I'd say this is a matinee. Yeah, it's not like I said, not the worst thing. It's got some moments, so I like. I'm not disappointed. It's about what I expected. I mean, like, with a different direction, I like to see what they could do with the third movie. Yeah. Uh, just with, like, if they learned their lesson from this one, like, I'd be curious to see what they can do. Yeah. Uh, but I'm probably never going to watch this again. When it all boils down to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, that, that's all I got. Uh, do you have anything else you want to add or move on to trailers? Um, I say let's move on to trailers. Okay. Um, do you remember what the first trailer was? Um, because I don't know why, but I wrote down Sea of Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, there was an ad for that earlier, <laughs> which I believe. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I can't remember. I remember. Um, give me a second in my head. Because um, the next one we got after that was Breaking In. I'm trying to remember. I, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Oh, it was, uh, we talked about it. It was Quiet Place. Quiet Place. Okay, I have no clue why I wrote Sea of Thieves. <laughs> but, 
Uh, yeah, Quiet Place we talked about forever. That one's coming out soon. Then we got uh, Breaking In, uh, which that one's going to be interesting. Probably. Hopefully it's like, it's been a while since I've seen a, a good, bad exploitation movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, hopefully that'll be good. And then Venom, which I, ah, uh, that's going to suck. I'm really hoping that it turns out better, but it's just, yeah, it's like, I look at the people involved, it's like, Tom Hardy's going to bring depth to the role. Unfortunately, he's going to be struggling to deal with Shit. a director who's only had one good movie and writers who aren't very promising. Uh, this this just feels like uh, Sony trying to do Marvel movies without Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it just, it feel, it, from the very minute this movie was announced, it feels like a shameless cash grab. Yeah. And trying to bank off popularity. And like, well, and again, honestly, it kind of feels like a... Uh, CEO's hissy fit in a way like well okay fine they got Spider-Man we can still make Spider-Man movies without Spider-Man totally worked fine guys wait totally what was this? Uh, like or wh not the CEO like whoever the like, other woman is like whatever her name is mm. uh, like the m main head of Sony Pictures right now I can't remember uh, I just know that she's the one kind of spearheading this whole thing yeah and like the one that I <laughs> do you ever see that interview with Kevin Feig and her again I'm blanking on her name but she was there. Is it Amy something or other? Amy something, I'm sure. Um, Why would I think like Amy Pascal or something like that? Could be. Um, but the interview with her and there, somebody asked him if whether or not Venom takes place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh yeah, I remember that. He's like, yes, no. Uh, no, oh, it is Amy Pascal. Okay, Amy, Amy Pascal. Yeah, she's the one that's kind of spearheading this whole fucking thing. Um, I think. Yeah, because I guess she just stepped down not too long ago either. <laughs> well, that's probably for the best because she's been she made a shit ton of horrible mistake, uh, horrible ideas. Yeah. Uh, but that same year was like, and then she said like, well, it could be we have like it, it, it could be it's in, inadvertently connected to the cinematic universe. And Kevin Feige just shot shot like gave her this look like, bitch, what? <laughs> like it was very subtle, but he did he did like that double take yeah. kind of thing. Like we did not fucking discuss yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that meme with the guys like blinking. Yeah, kind of. We like looked at it as like did a bully, like we are gonna fucking talk about this later kind of look. Yeah. Um, I mean, to be fair, his technically connection is just a very loose one. <laughs> but even then, like it, it was very clear that somebody wasn't talking to somebody about this, and yeah. that, that kind of feels like it's a, it's a metaphor for the entire movie production as a whole. And yeah. that's why I have no faith in this movie being good. Uh, which yeah. is this point because Venom is like my alt, one of my all time favorite villains, and it's, he gets his first movie, and it's gonna be shit. I guess Sony has no clue what they're doing. Once again, showing. Just let Marvel do the work. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like when Warner Bros. tries to in with the DC movies. It's like, you know, when you actually let, gave a female a direct, a, or female character, a female director, a female character, and let them do what they want with it, guess what you got? A good movie! Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that! <laughs> then again, <clears throat> they gave Zack Snyder too much free will. Not by, from what, not, uh, I'm not sure, because I still want to see how terrible that ultimate cut was, because, <laughs> and also... <laughs> Yeah. I'm not going there today. I, <laughs> I, I've done this rant too many times. Yeah, I know. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'm just saying I need to see it so I can, like, make my official. No, you don't. Don't do it. That is three hours of your life you're not getting back. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it, Grant. Is it? I'm just saying it has been divisive in its own way, so I just want to see. Do, I know. I'm pretty sure I know what side I'm going to end up on. I just want to confirm. Did you like the first? Did you like the original cut? Nope. You're not gonna like the like the yeah. ultimate cut. It is not that much better. I don't care. Every nope, nope, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I'm not doing this. I'm not Goose doing Fraba. this. <laughs> what? <laughs> that stupid word in anger management. Goose frob. You're like the second person to make that reference to me this week. <laughs> <laughs> was the other one Howard? Uh, no, it was Laura actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, then we got Deadpool too, which I like the second trailer than the first trailer. Um. Yeah. That looks good. I'm looking yeah. forward to that. I like the first one. Um, then we got Rampage, which, well, we've also kind of talked about to death. Yeah, but at the same time, like, I'm look that one. I am looking forward to more. I think I might like that one more than this one, honestly. If it just embraces what it is and just has fun with it, that might actually work better for me. <laughs> Here's to hoping. Yep. Then we got Raider, Ready Player One, which just came out today. So that one yeah. we'll check out probably when I get back. Yeah. Um, uh, hoping I'll at least have fun with it. Uh, like, I, I, I'm not that hopeful, honestly. 
Uh, at the very least, I'll probably nerd out, and that's all I want. Just because, like, I've just had issues with Spielberg lately. Um, Which I don't blame you on. <laughs> um, and, like, again, the the trailer for this is not going to be a whole lot of hope, because the trailer ends with a, well, that went well, wink a dink It's like, okay, if that line is in your trailer, I have some concerns. <laughs> but, I don't know, we'll yeah. see. <laughs> could be perfectly fine. Um... And yeah, that was the last trailer. So, any final thoughts for Pacific Rim Uprising? Not really. Like I said, it's it's fine. Yeah, just definitely pr go for a matinee. We kind of lucked out that even though we had to pay full price for a ticket, we basically got the free 3D upgrade, yeah. which was all right, but it didn't really do much for it. Um, better than a lot of other CG, uh, 3D movies I've seen recently. Yeah. I'll say that much. <laughs> um, like yeah, but like they had the robot stuff flying around. That was kind of cool to watch in 3D. Yeah, uh, not much else beyond that though. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was it for that one. So I'm going to be gone this weekend on vacation. I'll be back on uh, Monday and I got the Monday and Tuesday off because I decided I'm going to need time to recover after I get back. So fair enough. Uh, probably go see something then. What even come? We got God's Net Dead 3, Ready Player One, and I feel like there's more. I shall check. And I'm blanking on what they are. Uh, those are going to be the two main ones though. Uh, huh. What else is there? Tell me, Flickster, be my, be my guide. Um, some called Gemini. Oh, we just got trailer for that with uh, Death of Stalin, hmm. which is, we should all look up by the oh, way. Oh no! What? Oh, Tyler Perry. What? I hope that's a limited release. Where? Acrimony. No! <laughs> Fuck! Next week's gonna be rough. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> this is what I get for going to see Ready Player One. <laughs> Not Ready Player One, uh, Death of Stalin, which is a really good movie, and that's probably my top ten list, and like, oh, god, like I'm in really good mood right now, and then no, and there we go. we get religious movie and Tyler, Tyler Perry. Perry. Like, you cannot have a worse combo. <laughs> it's like... Oh, uh, why? You know how I know both are going to suck? Both come out tomorrow and they have no scores on Rotten Tomato yet. That's a great sign. Good night, everybody. <laughs> that message of doom.